The Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know Act was designed to assist with emergency response planning by requiring facilities to report on-site chemicals for which material safety data sheets exist if the amount of those chemicals on-site meets or exceeds certain thresholds for those chemicals. In Montana, this information is reported online via ePlan, a highly secure web-based reporting system that was designed to instantly equip response teams with life-saving information. In addition to each facility's chemical data, ePlan makes available other important information to emergency responders instantly, such as maps of the area surrounding a fixed facility showing schools, hospitals, and other facilities that have reported, facility emergency response plans, federal area contingency plans, facility diagrams and building floor plans, and material safety data sheets. By utilizing the information provided on ePlan, we can make sound decisions when responding to actual hazmat or fire emergencies. It's absolutely imperative um, when we're responding to different calls because we don't know exactly what we're getting ourselves into. It could be um, an explosion hazard, it could be a fire hazard, it could be an inhalation hazard. It's all things that we really need to be aware of uh, when responding to these things. In Montana, all of our chemical reporting requirements under EPGRA can now be met online via ePlan at no cost to the facility. The state pays the fees for all Montana facilities. Every chemical for which a material safety data sheet exists has a threshold at which a facility is required to report it on an annual basis. For those 355 chemicals that are classified as extremely hazardous, there are additional time-sensitive reporting requirements. The list of these chemicals and their threshold planning quantities can be found at EPA's website. With having ePlan available to us, literally at our fingertips, it allows me to pull up information at any given time, whether it's a call that we're going on or a call that a fellow firefighter is responding on. They can call back to the firehouse, ask us questions, and we can give them specifics on everything that is on site. The ePlan, um, it's all reported digitally, um, very easy to upgrade, very easy to simply go back in and instead of photocopying last year's form and mailing it in to, to Helena to the DEQ office. It's simply a matter of hitting submit. More than 2,400 Montana facilities are already using ePlan to report their chemical inventories. ePlan can be accessed online at erplan.net. There you'll find an online video with instructions for reporting an ePlan, as well as a step-by-step -step guide with screenshots. Simply fill out your facility information, provide your chemical information, upload your MSDSs, the quantities that you store, and where and how you store it. You may also upload facility diagrams, building floor plans, and facility emergency response plans. You will also need to enter contact information for your local emergency planning committee, your local fire department, and the Tribal Emergency Response Commission if the facility is located on a reservation. Ask your local fire department for an email address to enter and find your LEPC's or TERC's contact information online at Montana DEQ's website. The information entered into ePlan is also automatically available to the State Emergency Response Commission. As an industry, any of the hazardous materials, we rely on the local emergency responders as our first line of defense in the event of a, of a release or a discharge. Um, we need to be instrumental in giving those folks the tools and the information they need to do their job safely um, because that also helps us do our job safely and be profitable in the end as well. ePlan is a secure, reliable, easy to use system that is essential in helping businesses keep our communities and our first responders safe.